Or you think about people 12,000 years ago hunting these with just a stick and a sharp rock on the end of it. We're ancient people. We, we cover ourselves with all this, but we're no different. We are all just hunter-gatherers stuffed in suits, so what you see of us now, uh, this, is, this, is, this is really just, just now. This is so recent. We've stopped becoming uh, stone tool users only just recently. It so personal. Elation and illumination, all those sensations. And I look at this thing and I think, man, that could be a trunk and those could be tusks. Nowhere else in North America have you found a rock art depiction of a mammoth, which is one, one reason to question it. Mammoths are you know, a very majestic um, animal. And there, there's something um, that's just very attractive to the, to the past, I think for all of us. We need to learn from the past and look where we're going and, and, and really try to do it right or we're not going to survive. The, the extinction is going to be ourselves. There are changes and, and you look at the geologic record, the, the earth has changed dramatically throughout time. So um, could we go, be going into a warming stage? Quite possibly. We know more about extinction than anybody ever was capable of knowing before. We know more about it through time, we know more about it across space. The thing about communities, and uh, Winston has been talking about this, that if we don't record them, we don't understand them, they become lost. So we build a uh, mammoth to gain this awareness uh, about it. And you know, I'm trying to tell that story. I'm trying to say, hey, this, this place is old. We, we live on top of these histories that, that, that go way, way back and, and tell stories that are far beyond what we're imagining. And I think that's important to know about the place where you live. <laughs>